Hi, this is Vic Tantry at Kanjo.com. Debt reduction should be a primary objective for anyone who has an outstanding loan. In this video, I'll show you how to use a debt reduction calculator to create a schedule for repaying your debt, ideally with minimal interest exposure. This spreadsheet was created by Dr. Vitver at Vertex42.com. Vertex42 is a wonderful online resource featuring dozens of different spreadsheets, many of which are available for free and some of which are available for a paid download. I highly recommend you check them out. Before we get started, I just want to show you that this spreadsheet is very information rich. For example, in this right hand column over here, we have a section called strategies. This spreadsheet actually allows you to choose between several different strategies for debt reduction. For example, you could choose the snowball strategy, which will repay debts with the lowest balance first. Or you could choose the avalanche strategy, which will repay debt with the highest interest rate first. There's significant information about each strategy here, which will allow you to make an informed choice based on your personal situation. Another nice thing about the spreadsheet is that it provides quite a bit of information about the different input and output fields. If you scroll, you see any of these little red arrows, and uh, they'll provide detailed information about that particular cell or column. This will help guide you as you fill out the spreadsheet, and it'll also help you interpret the results. So now that we understand a little bit about how to use this spreadsheet, let's look at the first major input field, the balance date in cell C4. This represents when we're going to start repaying the debt. I'm going to input September 1st of 2009 in here. We now scroll down to the creditor information table. In column B, we have the different creditors. Who do we owe money to? So I owe money to three different credit cards, credit card A, credit card B, and credit card C. I also owe money on an auto loan and on my mortgage. Next up we have the balances. How much do we owe to each creditor? So I owe $5,000 on my first credit card, $2,000 on my second credit card, and $3,000 on my third credit card. I also owe $10,000 on my auto loan and $150,000 on my home mortgage. Next up we have the rate. How much interest rates are we paying on each of these debt obligations. So my first credit card has an interest rate of 22%. Credit card B is even higher. It's actually uh, 25%. And credit card C is a little lower, 18%. My auto loan's at 10% and my mortgage is 7%. Now let's just skip over here to uh, column G, which is the interest only column. This represents how much we would need to pay at a minimum amount just to make interest payments. Forget about the principal. So for example, on the first credit card, I'd have to pay $91.67 per month just to keep up with interest, not reducing debt at all. So now we understand that a little bit, we, we know that we need to pay more than this in order to reduce our debt. Let's jump back to column E, which is the payment column. This represents usually the, uh, the minimum monthly payment that we owe on, on this particular debt obligation. So on my first credit card, I owe a payment of $100 a month. On credit card B, I'll owe $50 a month. On credit card C, I owe $100 a month. On my auto loan, I also owe about $100 a month. And finally, on my mortgage, I owe $1,000 a month. That gives me a total minimum monthly payment of $1,350. And as you can see in cell C18, a total debt obligation of $170,000. So now we move down to a very important input, which is the monthly payment. How much can we afford to pay per month based on our financial situation to reduce our debt? So I think I can pay $1,500 a month. That's our final input. Now we can start understanding what this spreadsheet really means. Let's scroll down a little bit. First of all, we see this little drop down menu here. This allows you to pick between several different strategies. As I mentioned earlier, you can choose between the snowball or the avalanche. We're going to choose the snowball for now, paying off items with the lowest balance first. Now we see the schedule. So remember, credit card B has the smallest balance, so that gets paid off first. Then credit card C, then credit card A, then the auto loan, and finally, the mortgage. This schedule also shows you the total interest paid on each debt obligation the months that it's going to take to pay it off, and the month in which we actually end up paying 
off the obligation. So those are all very nice things to understand in a schedule. Let's now skip over really quickly to the payment schedule side of this tab. As you can see here, this provides a comprehensive monthly schedule of our cash outflows for each of our debt obligations. And we can scroll down here and see that we start in September of 2009 and we just keep going down and down month after month. Like all the other spreadsheets on Vertex 42, by the way, this uh, is extremely printer friendly. If we click on the print preview button, we see that the whole schedule um, provides a very simple printer friendly template. If we close this and we go back to the calculator over here, that is also true for the input fields and the summary sheet. And you can even see that we have a nice little graph here which shows how your debt will reduce over time, over months and years. So I hope this video has helped you understand how you can use the Vertex 42 Debt Reduction Calculator to create a schedule that allows you to repay your debt with, um, while minimizing your interest. Uh, thank you very much for watching. To purchase this spreadsheet um, and other spreadsheets, I recommend you click on the link uh, to the side of this video. And uh, for similar videos on financial topics, I recommend you check out my website, www.canjo.com. Thanks for watching.